guys, Danielle, Danielle's Homemade Products. Today I'm making some lotion. I've got my sweet almond oil, avocado oil, emulsifying wax, and steric acid in this bowl. I've got a bowl of my distilled water next to it. I've got my shea butter ready. I've got my preservative here. And I'm doing this in two different scents. I'm doing half in cucumber melon and half in sex on the beach. So I have already went ahead and sprayed all of my bottles. I'm gonna flip the light on in here. And your food's on the table, squirrel. So I'm going to go ahead and stick my oils into the microwave and start getting them melted. I just need to, to run it long enough to make sure all the, the waxes and, and uh, steric acid are melted. I'm gonna slide you guys over. Here I have my bottles. I did go ahead and sterilize everything that I was using, including the pictures that the water and stuff are in and the steric acid. All of these have been sprayed with alcohol and allowed to drip dry. Even my spatula is over there and my stick blender. So I am gonna scoot you guys back so you can see. I may try to raise you up a little bit to make it a little easier. And here I have my fragrances. This little spoon is the cucumber melon. The little cup is the uh, sex on the beach scent. So I'm just waiting. I even sprayed, and actually this one's not quite dry all the way. I sprayed all my spatulas with alcohol as well. Don't want any yuckies to be put in the lotion that we're working hard on. Okay, so I've had it in there for a minute. I'm going to give it a good stir. <clears throat> okay, it does need a little bit more time. So let's go ahead and, yeah, you can see the wax hardening on my spatula. Okay, so I'm going to put that back in there for another minute. distilled water here. That one will need to go into the microwave too, but just not quite yet. So if anybody's curious, I don't add the shea butter to the other waxes because if you heat that for too long, you're going to lose the properties from it. The, the nice, yummy skin softening properties from it. And we don't want to lose those. So once all of the oils and waxes are liquefied, then I will add in the shea butter to the batch and it will, and the residual heat from the waxes and oils will melt the shea butter. So, and as I'm mixing that in, I will heat up my distilled water because if you mix hot oils and cold water together, you get a mess. Trust me, I've done it. Okay, let's see if these guys are melted pretty close. I may be able to just stir the rest of it and melt it. And yep, okay. So while I'm stirring the shea butter in, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the distilled water. I'll heat that for two minutes. So let's get our yummy shea butter in without splashing hot oil on us would be a good idea. And I'm just going to continue to stir this until it is all completely melted in. As you can see, the shea butter melts pretty quickly. Just a stirring. 
stir, stir, stir. Feels like your arm's gonna fall off before the shea butter is gonna be melted, but it really won't. At least I hope not. Because if your arm fell off from stirring your, you know, lotion, that would really kind of suck. And how would you explain that anyway? If your arm fell off while you were stirring lotion. I don't think there would be a good enough story to come up with that would make that one. Because I know personally, I wouldn't want to say that, that my arm fell off because I was stirring lotion too much. <coughs> Perfect timing. <coughs> I can feel through the bowl that the water is warm. Now is the fun part. Ready, set, go. Once combined, it always turns the lotion white and it's funny how two clear liquids can make a cloudy white one. Now it is time for the stick blender. I'm gonna go far with my spatula because I will need it. Of course, stick blender sounds like it's a dying shit. Still got some power though, even though it sounds like it's dying. I'm trying to make sure my arm's not in the way. I don't think it's working very well. Let me try this. Yeah, maybe that'll be a little bit better. Oop, now I'm splashing it all. At this point, we want it to thicken up, which it has. We also want it to cool a bit because if we add in the preservative too soon, really, I didn't want to wear that on my shirt, but if we add in the preservative too soon, it will be hot, too hot, and it could burn off the preservative instead of protecting our lotion. So, I'm going to give this a few more minutes to cool. Getting it on me. Stop it. So as far as thickness goes, I am okay with that. One forty-one. Okay. Then you don't need any insulin. Mama's kind of watching me while she eats her breakfast and takes her meds. Smart move. Let's take the stick blender off. Splash lotion all over the place. And this is our preservative. Whoopsie. Sorry, that was loud. I'm just going to go ahead and use the blender to mix this in well and distribute it evenly through the lotion. I'm just trying to be careful about how thick I do get it because if it's too thick, it'll be hard to pour in the bottles. Now, that's not to say if it doesn't happen that it means your lotion is ruined. No, not by any means. What that means is you might just need to warm it up a little bit in the microwave again to thin it out. Because it will, once again, it will thicken as it cools. I want to get as much 
lotion off our blender as we come. Okay. Oops, I'm knocking the bottles over. It's all right, I got gloves on, so at least touching them at this point doesn't mean I'm unsterilizing them. So I'm going to, let's see. Let me get my scale. I'm gonna try to make this as even as possible. Okay, so my empty bowl is 3.7. This guy's 52.25. It's too early for math. So roughly 48. So we're gonna do 24. Close enough for me, anyway. Close enough for me. Get the beast out of the way, and I think we will start with the one I'm worried about spilling first, and that's the cucumber melon. It really does not take a whole lot of fragrance to fragrance solution. I'm just going to go ahead and stir this in. I don't want it to get any thicker. And I'm sure it'll pop back up again. Determined to flick lotion all over the place, apparently. I may need to warm this up a bit. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna warm this up a little bit. If not, I'm gonna have lotion all over the counter. And I don't want to ruin it. I am gonna go ahead and dump my sex on the beach before I dump it all over the counter. Anticipating eating four bottles for each, though I may not be able to fill the fourth bottle completely. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Oh yeah, this is going to be much easier to pour. And again, it will thicken back up as it cools back down too. Try this again. Try to get it in the bottle. Yeah, much easier to pour out of it and having that baby all over the place. Ooh, almost had it all over the place anyway. See? I knew it was going to go all over the place.
because now I gotta clean my mess up. I'm just using the paper towel to wipe the lotion bottle clean, or as clean as I can until it cools down. There's still a little bit in the bowl, so I will put that aside for us to use here. All right, now I gotta mix up the other one. Clean my damn mess up first, though. I'm gonna get a different spatula. I think I'll have to heat this one up too. But that's all right. One of my friends sent me a message the other day that said, well, actually, she posted it on Facebook. She posted a picture of her almost empty lotion jar. I'm like, was that a hint? Trying to tell me I need to make you some more lotion? <laughs> and then I try to do little surprise boxes for my friends every so often. Um, just to kind of let them know, even though we're not necessarily living in the same area. Um, that they're still, you know, important to me and on my mind. Hold these three for now. And I cleaned extra containers just in case I needed them. Um, so I'm working on two boxes right now that I want to try to get out in the next coming week. So that was kind of... Gave me the motivation to make some lotion. I'm out of lotion here at the house anyway, so whatever I don't send out will be used here or I'll, you know, put it, make it available for sale. I haven't um, quite decided yet. But if you want one, I can always make another batch. So hit me up on Facebook, send me a private message through Facebook or YouTube, and I can, uh, we can go from there. And these are not the only scents that I can do lotion in. So I've got probably about 50 different scents options right now. Um, but these are the two. I, um, the friend that asked for more lotion, her favorite is the cucumber melon. And then the other one that I'm doing a box for, she just said she liked fruity scents. So this is one of my favorite fruity scents. I think it's from Wellington Fragrance. Yeah, Wellington Fragrance. I <laughs> had the bottle still sitting over there, so I was just double checking. Um, but it does, it smells just like the drink, at least to me. But it reminds me of like fruit punch, like all those different berries and yumminess that you see in the summertime. And I just, it's one of my favorite fragrances. Oop, I'm going to start making a mess in a second. Pay attention to what I'm doing.
So, in this upcoming week, you'll probably see me making a lot of different products. But I've got some body scrub I want to make. Um, I have a couple of kids melt and pour soaps that I want to make. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to those or not. Just because the one I want to make, I'm not sure if I have brought the mold over here to, to Nas or not. So I'll have to double check that first, and if not, I'll have to get it from home first. Okay. I didn't make as much of a mess with these guys. And I will let these cool completely before I print out the labels for them and stick the labels on. Um, I'm always worried that if I put the labels on a hot bottle that as the bottle cools down, the label will do something funky and it's just not worth all the effort to go into it to take the chance on having to redo it because once you put a label on these bottles, it does not want to come off, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, so there it is. There is our lotion. And I'm going to take my gloves off. And here is some of the Sex on the Beach lotion. It's still very thin. Make sure you can see me. It is still very thin right now because it is still warm. It's not hot to the point where it's burning me, obviously, but it's still warm. And I'm just going to rub some of my hands, try to give you an idea of how quickly it soaks in. Now, mind you, my skin is very dry anyway. It, it's just the nature of being a diabetic. And you can see there's barely, I didn't use much to begin with, and it has soaked in pretty quickly. I've got some underneath my nails, but then again, I also have blue dye under my nails from tie dyeing last, or at the beginning of the week with my little cousins. So they're not dirty, they're dye, they've got dye on them. But there you go, you can see it is completely soaked in, but I don't feel greasy, which is nice. Um, I do still feel a bit tacky like the lotion is still soaking in i don't know what i did to my hand hmm, interesting um but it's not a greasy lotiony type of feel and uh the friend that let me know her lotion was almost empty has a very hard time with lotion she tends to break out from everything and um, my lotion she's used for probably about i want to say two years now and has not had any problems with it um, she's even used it in some sensitive areas with no problems. So uh, it's awesome. So she's always hitting me up for lotion. I usually try to give her some lotion for Christmas as a Christmas gift. Um, but this year I was slacking just a little bit and didn't get any made in time. So, and I had sent her a box with some lotion in it, but unfortunately it was delivered to the wrong address. So, um, the people who it was delivered to, um, moved before they could, um, get the box back from them so somebody took like they had like four different body scrubs and a couple of lotions and they had a field day with their little um, unexpected surprise so I'm trying to get her some lotion to stock up because everybody else got a couple of jars already this year so um, but there you go and I have a tendency of not rubbing it in very well around my fingers which I need to but again it's not not greasy I don't know if you can even see that. It's not greasy. Don't mind my burn. It's starting to finally heal. When I made the muffins, all those muffins a couple weeks ago, me and the muffin pan had an argument and the muffin pan won. Um, but it's it's almost he it's almost healed now. I still have some patches where it's not quite ready to come off yet. So but it's doing good. But there you go, it's not sticky. And it is already pretty well soaked in. So there you go. Again, hit me up if you want a bottle. Talk to you later.